basics of an advanced engine. It's uh, really easy. Go to the workbench, uh, load new vehicle if you already have one. I'm gonna make a platform for this. Like so. Then we're gonna choose our engine. I will show all three uh, diesel engines and maybe a jet engine. And uh, first, I'll do a electric engine because those are the easiest ones. Um, let's pick a medium for this. And it's just the size like the small one gives the uh, the like the large. The largest gives the most power, so this is the strongest, and this, and this. So we're gonna use the large electric, or no, not the large, the medium electric engine. It, it is really easy. I'm gonna pick a uh, large battery. So. just for ships because the ships are the most easiest is my opinion um, let's see we're gonna put some these are enclosed pipes so if you do something like this now it's sealed so no water can get in this this part but when you do this oh like this now it isn't sealed so water gets in your engine bay if you have it like this so always put a this block except if you have except if you have the small propeller because the small propeller is already a block so this is the only thing you need to do and now you're pretty much ready to go for the most part we're gonna need a throttle lever so I'm gonna hook the green is uh, is a number so I'm gonna connect that to the engine then of course we need el electricity so we're gonna if you want to do multi not multiple lines at once you need to hold control so that's something and now we're pretty much done with this engine. That's all, all we actually need. So if you go over here, you can see if I put the throttle on one, the propeller starts spinning. Uh, you can al also click this, the select button. You can click it and you can change. So the sensitivity, so if I put it on 50, I can give it a name like um, lol why not and I can put a minus value and I can put the start so if you want to start at 1 so it instantly spins forwards I need to put it in 1 and minus 1 if uh, I want to go backwards but we'll leave that right now on 0 let's spawn this in Electric engines are good to use because they're simple, but they drain a lot of electricity, so you need a lot of power. So now we're going minus one, and now we're going one. So you also don't need uh, a gearbox for this engine. We'll move on to the next engine now. The the most engine I use a lot for smaller builds, of course because it's a small small engine well you need uh, a bit more for this first we need a pipe of course 
the propeller and here is the hard stuff here the in coolant out coolant I will just uh, do the basics of it so it's the most easiest you just pick a pipe angle you can remove uh, nine blocks beneath it so this is the most compact you can get it in the floor if you are building a boat of course water can go through this so seal it up if you want to you can not make it look nice but you do not always have to do that um, then we need an exhaust and fuel so exhaust is pretty easy just pick an exhaust put it on there and there we have an exhaust then we have fuel I'm just gonna pick a small fuel tank for this you can just easily put it on there and then we need air also really easy I usually pick this one fluid port put it on there and then you're done with, with this engine now for the logic you hook it up to the electricity and I'm just going to do the throttle here and you know what I'm gonna use a different different uh, throttle for this one uh, let's see this one and a key button so we can turn it on there we go and the throttle and now we need electricity and by the way if you put this in minus one it doesn't work I will show you I'm not gonna save that spawn So here we have the electric engine, minus one and one, and both sides work. Leave it like that, and now we need to turn the key button. You can hear it. Okay, that's good. And now we purple lever. This is one, by the way, this is not minus one, I just put it in the wrong direction. Not the song though. Um, because if I put it in minus one, you see no smoke is coming out, so and it's going slow with the propeller, so nothing is happening now. To fix that, you will need a gearbox. Place it down, get a button toggle and it, uh, it and you see those arrows it does matter which direction you're placing now you will have the same speed in uh, backwards and if you put it like oh hold up like this you will have um, more like not more power you go slower but you can easily pull boats so that's the easier so hook up the electricity put the toggle button on the gear uh, switch if you want like this you don't have to and you also need to do this select this one and then minus one and this one one to one spawn it in and as you can see we can go forwards but when I do this it instantly stops so you can also use kind of as a brake but if you want to go in reverse you need to put uh, turn the key again so now we're going backwards you can stop and now come forwards. But if you keep this on the whole time, 
and and keep your throttle on zero, your battery will drain really quick. And also, if you want to, you don't have to. But you can pick a dial. So I'm gonna put it right here. One, two, three. Let's put four just in case. So fuel is going to the first one, so we're just gonna quickly name it fuel. This one is gonna be battery. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, we need temperature, I always put temp for the temperature and we also need RPS for rotations per second. So temperature is going this rotation per second is going RPS fuel all we already have connected and then the battery charge to the battery. So now we are gonna hook it up with electricity. By the way dials you don't have to uh, connect because if I spawn it in right now you will see it, it works fine. See, 25 fuel, in, it's a small tank, so if I turn the key, put the throttle on max, you see it slowly goes down, but battery, and what I was talking about, about the train with only holding the key, and those are really large batteries, so it doesn't go that quick, but if I put, put this one on, it does go quite, 99. And how uh, lower the battery gets, how slower the the engine, uh, the electric engine gets. But I have placed two of these, and these are really heavy, so it's really hard to push forwards. But it doesn't drain that quick as I thought it would. Uh, the temperature of the engine we also have here. It goes up if you go faster, of course. The RPS. I usually hold it on 20 because if you do more, if it goes more than 20, you need uh, more uh, uh, radiators cooling. And I will show you how to do that right now. So I'm just gonna place one on, on the sides here. So, hold up, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna do it like this. So, um, now we need some pipes. Connect these two right here. And the most on the sides, so these two, you want to connect to the engine itself. Because that's the easiest way to do it, my opinion again. So, like this. And like that, and now you have a cooling system, works better. Now you can put the RPS, uh, I think, maybe 40, I don't know exactly how much, but 40 is I think maximum right now. Because it goes above 100, uh, above 100 te with temperature, I, I, it will explode. I think I'm not sure how much we can push this engine right now, but the fu it will consume a lot more fuel right now because we put the RPS a lot higher. So put it on. Go on higher again. As you can see, the RPS is going to 40 now. It spins a lot faster, but it consumes much more fuel. And of course, we have the large uh, fuel tank right here. It can hold um, 700, and you can also change it to jet fuel, empty maybe, and water. So this one is in diesel because it's all all the en the motorized engines are uh, 
diesel except for the jet engine and electric engine that's just <laughs> electric but I will show you how to make a custom engine really nice and quick or another custom engine I mean a custom fuel tank sorry so we're gonna remove this one um, we need some pipes again we also need a pipe enclosed because there's gonna be fuel inside I am going to use a fluid spawner and a fluid meter so fluid meter okay you also need a fluid port and a, f a fluid pump um, the fluid meter can go to the fuel right now because it will let you show you how much fuel there is uh, I do not use this one this is uh, in liters I always use this one it's more of Stormworks like I don't know how to call it uh, you can also change this one to diesel, jet fuel, water, empty. I don't know why you sh would use empty on a fluid spawner because you can just not put a fuel fluid spawner there. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, but anyway, um, let's see. Right here, this pipe. Um, now we're going to put a fuel pump. And as you can see, fuel, fluid in, and the other side it says fluid out, as you can see. So the fluid goes in here and goes out here to the engine. That's one thing you should always do. Um, you can put a pipe. Oh, this is a angled one. You need a straight one. Right here. You can put it like there. So you don't and extend it a bit more if you want to but I always do this so I can have the most fuel in the box uh, after that I always do let's see where is it uh, I just put a put it on like blocks on top but I don't need to do that right now I want to actually show you the inside of it going on inside the box I'm playing in multiplayer right now because I, I just played with my friend and I start recording this video after he left so I cannot pause it what I wanted to do in camera mode so I could fly in here and show you the inside but now I cannot because I'm in multiplayer um, just make take a uh, ladder so I can climb up to show you what it, the fuel looks like. Let's spawn it. Maybe the, there's a little bit of fuel coming out. Yep. All right. Now we have a lot more fuel than 700, 2,000. So that's a lot more than, and it's not even completely filled as you can see because of the drop um, but we're gonna test it right now oh dang it I forgot something of course you need a another button that's why I wanted you just gonna quickly give these ones a name reverse and this is uh, f you can call it fuel pump or fluid I always call it fuel pump all my creations are uh, in English by the way because in my last video I said I'm uh, from Holland so uh, I always put a constant number on the black light not always but sometimes I do 
and the fuel pump is of course going to be a fuel pump and we also need electricity this one for the button and we can also do it for the uh, dials right now for the uh, black light so it can actually glow up a bit more and we can see it better you don't really see it but okay um, so this is the fuel pump you saw the thing moved because there's fuel right now in inside of this pipe right now so put the engine on and as you can see this is the rps 40 reduces a lot of smoke this is the temperature i hope it does not go above 100 i think it may, maybe four. battery is still on one um, I will show you how to put a, a generator on it as well. Uh, this is the fuel. I will not be showing uh, a, lar a medium or a large engine today. Oh, no, as you can see, uh, the RPS. Oh, it, right now it's 50, 55, but it probably went over 100. That's why it exploded. So we're gonna just quickly fix that. Because if your plane doesn't take off, if you use a propeller plane, um, you need to put more uh, coolers in there, so you can make the engine go a lot faster. Um, what you also can do is, I will just quickly remove this one. Uh, I can pick a T T piece right now. Uh, you can use any kind of generator. I will use the medium for, for this video. You can also use the small. Small produces mm, not very much. It's, it pretends on, uh, or it, it goes on the power of your engine. How more power your engine gives, how more the power goes in, or how this, that's how much the generator will work. I, I hope you know what I mean. If you don't, I'm sorry. I'm not that good in English. But then we have the small, uh, the medium generator. I'm gonna hook it, hook it up to the electricity. Because if we don't, we don't. We just produce power for nothing, basically. And now we can put the output of the uh, the generator if we want. Just gonna put there gen generator. Hook that up. Hook the electricity up. And hook the constant on signal. I will spawn it right now. And um, the battery will always stay on the one because there's a pretty big generator for for pretty small usage of electricity. Fuel pump. Key button. And as you can see, the RPS is going slower because of the uh, generator. I put it on 30, but it's going 60 because it take, takes, I uh, think, a little bit of over or less than half of uh, the engine power and it goes to the generator. It, it depends on the size of the generator, so if you have a large generator there's going to be more power in the generator than the propeller so the temperature is good right now so because it's not going very fast battery all that stuff so this is just quick not a quick video but it's a video of on, on how an engine works and custom fuel tank so pretty much the basics of the storage so yeah that was it Bye guys.